Hi! Welcome to Holy Time TV. Before we start, smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Once upon a time, in the year, BC, before contracts, the world was a bit of a free-for-all. People were running around doing whatever they wanted, with no structure or rules to follow. This wasn't great, as you can probably imagine, so God thought, I think it's time we set some ground rules. So, God called upon Moses, who was essentially the neighborhood watch captain of the Israelites. Moses was a bit anxious about this task. After all, he had to climb all the way up Mount Sinai, which did not have any marked hiking trails or rest stops. But he was determined to do it, even if it meant missing his favorite TV show that evening. Once he reached the top, God began to recite the commandments, and Moses was tasked to carve them into stone tablets. God was quite specific about the rules, and Moses had to double-check a couple of times. Wait a minute, Lord, you're saying I can't even covet my neighbor's brand new, shiny donkey? That's asking a lot. Once the list was complete, Moses looked at the tablets and thought, wait, what if I lose one of these on my way down? I better make a copy. And so he did, creating the world's first backup copy, tradition, years before the invention of copy machines or cloud storage. As Moses began his descent, he felt quite proud, picturing himself presenting the tablets to his people like a divine lawyer unveiling the terms of life's first contract. However, his dreams of a grand entrance were dashed when he found the Israelites dancing around a golden calf. In his frustration, he broke the tablets, effectively tearing up the first contract between God and humans. The people were stunned. Moses, why'd you break our new rules? They asked, genuinely confused. Don't worry, Moses replied. Just like any good lawyer, I made a copy. And from that moment on, the world had its first divine contract, the Ten Commandments, and the rest, as they say, is history. And that's how contracts, and the practice of always making a backup, came to be, at least according to a very playful, comedic interpretation of the Bible. Exodus chapter 34 verse 1 is a verse in the Hebrew Bible and Christian Old Testament. The verse is in the book of Exodus, the second book of the Bible, which tells of the Israelites' deliverance from slavery in Egypt and their journey under the leadership of Moses. The verse reads, The Lord said to Moses, Chisel out two stone tablets like the first ones, and I will write on them the words that were on the first tablets, which you broke. In this verse, God is speaking to Moses after the golden calf incident, where the Israelites created and worshipped a golden idol while Moses was on Mount Sinai receiving the original Ten Commandments. Moses had smashed these tablets in anger when he saw what the people were doing. Exodus chapter 32 verse 19. Now, God is commanding Moses to create new tablets so that the commandments can be rewritten. Thank you, beloved, for gathering today. We are here to share a message, not just any message, but one that comes from deep within our hearts and echoes in our lives. Imagine for a moment you're about to sign a contract. It's not a simple piece of paper, no. It's a promise, a commitment, a bond that reflects your integrity and your honor. When you sign that contract, Remember, you're not just making a commitment to the other party, but you're also making a commitment to God, and most importantly, to yourself. In Exodus, when God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, it was more than just a set of rules. It was a contract of love and faith. A contract that said, if you follow these guidelines, you will lead a fulfilling and righteous life. Now, I want you to imagine your life as that contract. Each day you live, you're signing that contract again, saying, God, I'm here, I'm living according to your will, and I'm keeping my part of the agreement. And let me tell you, God does not forget those who honor their commitments. You see, friends, when we sign a contract, we are expressing our intent to stay true, to remain faithful to our words. But the real test comes in keeping it. It's easy to make promises, but it takes strength, courage, and character to keep them. It takes determination and resilience to stay true to our commitments even when the winds of adversity blow against us. Maybe today you're feeling like you've violated your contract, 
Perhaps you've strayed from the path, deviated from the commitments you've made. But I want to tell you something, it's never too late to get back on track. It's never too late to make things right. Remember, God's mercy is greater than any mistake you've made. Let's remember Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. That's the loving God we serve, a God of mercy, a God of second chances. Don't let your past mistakes hold you back. Instead, use them as stepping stones to build a better, brighter future. You're here for a purpose. You're here to shine, to excel, to make a difference. When you commit to living a life of integrity, of love, of generosity, you're signing a divine contract with the universe. You're telling God, I'm ready. I'm ready to live the life you want for me, a life of abundance and joy. So, I implore you, friends, honor your contracts, both earthly and divine. And remember, each day is a new opportunity to recommit yourself to live a life of purpose, love, and integrity. God has faith in you. It's time you have faith in yourself too. God loves you. God bless you all. If you liked this video, don't forget hit that like button, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.